still holy queen and throned above O Maria hail mother of mercy and of love O Maria triumph of each cherubim sing with us ye seraphim heaven and earth resound thy hymn salve 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 regina in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the lord be with you my dear friends, we gather here today, August 22nd, as we celebrate the Feast of the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary, another day that we honor our Blessed Mother, our Blessed Mother who leads us ever closer to Jesus. As we gather here today, let us recall the many times that we have sinned, and let us ask God today to give us courage and strength and forgiveness. Let us pray. O God, who made the mother of your Son to be our mother and our Queen, graciously grant that, sustained by her intercession, we may obtain in the heavenly kingdom the glory promised to your children. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwell in a land of gloom, a light was shown. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you at the harvest, as men make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulders, and the rod of their taskmaster you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that trampled in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us, upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains, by judgment and justice both now and forever, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Praise you, servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord, both now and forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From the rising of the sun to its setting is the name of the Lord be praised. High above all nations is the Lord. Above the heavens his glory. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Who is like the Lord our God, who is enthroned on high and looks upon the heavens and the earth below? Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. He raises up the lowly from the dust, from the dunghill he lifts up the poor to seat them with princes, with the princes of his own people. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the six months for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the Sir Handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we take a pause from ordinary time. And today we celebrate a day called the Queenship of the Blessed Virgin Mary. It is, once again, a way that we honor our Blessed Mother because of her faithfulness, because of her discipleship, because of her yes to God. We do realize that Mary is human just like you and I. And so what does that mean? It means that Mary needed to be redeemed just like we do. And she was conceived without original sin. And if we read the documentation about what does that mean, the Immaculate Conception, it specifically talks about that God foreshadowed the cross, that God foreshadowed or knew of the death that Jesus would have, which would remove original sin. And because of that, Mary was conceived without sin, for the vessel that would bring the Son of God into the world would be made pure, would be made holy and spotless without sin or wrinkle, as some of the prayers go. But it was because of the cross that she was preserved from original sin. Many people sometimes get angry with priests who try to remind everyone that every Mary is human like us. She has that favorable position because of how she responded to God's love. But everything that happened to Mary is because of the cross, because of her son, Jesus Christ, who is the only Savior of the world. But today we honor her as queen, her queenship of heaven. Because God, through his gift and understanding of the cross of Jesus, preserved her from original sin. And then she was assumed, body and soul, into heaven, where she now reigns as queen, where she does exactly what she did here on earth, pray for us, Pray for Jesus' disciples. Pray for the early church. And most importantly, lead us to her son. That's Mary's role. Intercessor. Prayer. Leading us ever closely home. So today, as we celebrate this queenship of Mary, we remember Mary's great love for all of us. We remember that God had preserved her from original sin, assumed her body and soul into heaven. And today we rejoice and we celebrate that 
great day. Trusting in the Lord's mercy, let us bring before him our prayers and petitions. We pray for the church. May the Holy Spirit continue to help each one of us grow in holiness and strength as we journey together in Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all nations. May the Lord foster and increase respect for all human life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all who are persecuted for their faith. May God uphold and strengthen them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our community of faith. May God's call echo in our hearts and guide our actions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for the sick, that they may be healed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for those who have died in the peace of Christ. May God grant them eternal rest and peace in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now take all of these prayers. We lift them up to God our Father. We pray as Jesus taught. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. God of truth and love, you have given us your Son in order to show us the way to you. We ask that you hear these prayers we offer. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Let us together pray an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you have already come. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. The cause of joy to all below, O Maria, the spring through which all graces flow, O Maria, angels all your praises bring, earth and heaven with sing all creation echoing Save, 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 Save,